Hi, I'm Bahara Khoshui. I'm a 2019 workspace resident at Baxter Street Camera Club of New York. The name of the exhibit, Lurking Variable itself, comes from overlooking data, right? And not understanding the data. So when it's overlooked, it actually creates a false result just because of the way it's framed, it looks like it's correct, but it's not. For example, with the increase of the ice cream shops during summer, we have um, an increase in shark attacks also. So you would think that if you ban all ice cream shops, then there will be no shark attacks. But really the lurking variable here is the weather being warmer, which is the result of the increase of the ice cream shop sales and having more shark attacks because people go to the beach. Similarly, in um, this exhibition, I'm looking at Muslim ban, at all the immigration policies, and also the terrorist attacks. And I basically see them as ice cream shops and the shark attacks. They're not necessarily related to each other, but because of the way it's framed, that's how it is basically propagated. I became very interested in lie detectors and how they have been used as a tool in oppressing marginalized groups. And now with the use of AI, the US government is actually trying to use lie detectors in applications of border control. And I think that's the problem that we have right now that nobody is actually working on ethical AI. Everybody is just working on making AI stronger than before, but also not necessarily moral or ethical. And the problem with that is that AI is just replicating its surrounding and this world itself is very racist and sexist and xenophobic. So AI is just becoming that beast that is reflecting all of that. I think as designers, as humans, that's our job to actually teach it to think differently and to understand things differently, to understand lurking variables but we're not really doing that. I think that right now we're so scared of robots and machines and AI because they have been used for the majority of times just to oppress. So we don't have that relationship with them, but maybe there would be an alternate reality in which we could have this really cool friend that literally knows everything and could get to know you um, and also help you especially in terms of transitioning to a new country.